traveling to Numan. So here we are, team. We have the semifinals bracket of round mm, tournament number three of Winky Face Open Invitational. We have in the winner's bracket of the semifinals Team Harambe.exe on the blue team and Team KR, KR Board, right? Shit. KR Board on the red team. Now it looks like we have KR Board with uh, Mad on Mercy per usual and Jinxing on the Ana per usual. The, this this lineup, these healers here are incredible. The, the last matches they've been playing, they have been killing it. Now, we have fallen up with them, Schnobear. On the Ferris, we're gonna see some Fair of Mercy action going on, which is really, really OP right now in today's uh, lineup. We've got Jill on the Diva, of course, coming in hot. Really great Diva player. I do think I can give up with you, Jill. Thank you. And uh, over here we have Art of Reyes on the Winston. Well played. Art of Reyes and Degenerate on the Genji. Now, Degenerate's Genji is pretty legit. He will crash your backline, disrupt you, and just get up in your face with no fear. That's exactly what you want to be doing this Genji. Now, on the defensive side, we've got healers, Vandalism on Lucio, Anna being played by Godspeed, Cuckney Bay on the uh, Winston. Boy, he really likes that Winston. He's been playing a lot of it lately. Uh, the other tanks, we're running three tanks. Yona Shara on the Zarya, Ethan on the Diva, and Elk on the Soldier. Now, really great positioning here by Elk. Uh, he got to worry about getting booped off here, but he's able to put pressure on that Diva right away. Oh, Kukmi goes in, but gets slept right away by Dan. Ends up being able to get up out of there. Putting some pressure back on the Ana and uh, ends up getting Gen Seaton down. Okie dokie. Now, Vandalism. Elk really been able to put pressure here on Mad. Able to take her out as well. Really, really strong defense here by Team Harambe. Now, I don't know what uh, Schnobear is thinking he can do soloing against. Events a lone soldier like Elk, whose aim is just on point. Now let's watch Degenerate, see if he can't get into that backline. Now he is pressuring the the Winston of all players. His hard counter. Now there are a lot of players over on that top left side, so might just be a little too hard to dive in there. Now if he can get that Winston up off that high ground, which the Winston is not going to be scared of him. Let's be honest. My ultimate is almost just ready. not going to happen. My ultimate is ready. All right, so here we have Jensen still quite a ways away from uh, his Nano. So Degenerate's gonna, if he wants to go in, he's gonna have to go in by himself here. Now he will get him pretty quick, but oh, Ethan ends up taking him. Big, oh, big plays coming out here. Oh boy, this is bad for Elk. He is gonna get boomed. Now Ethan able to get up out of there. He's gonna light off his ult. Not going to let anyone get away. Doesn't catch anyone, but gets him off the point for just a little bit. Now, we had a really, saw a really great res by Mad. Able to get up those players. Up and out. Oh, boy. This is just too much for my brain to handle. Now, Elk coming back in. Coming hot. Trying to put some pressure on these teams. Now, they're still contesting. We haven't even seen the first tick yet. We've got... We got Cuckney Bay coming in hot. Yono Shero. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now that is finally the point taken by KR Board. Now Ricky here. Art of Reyes. Sorry. Art of Reyes. Stays in motion. Gotta watch how he engages and disengages. He is really, really quite good at being able to hop in that back line. Let the, if they're playing with Zari, he, he won't pop that bubble too early. 
so that way Zarya can still get some charge. They drop the beat way too early. I feel like that must be a misclick because that just does nothing. By the time they get up there, they're not going to have any of it left. They do drop that barrier. They are able to clean up a lot of players. Oh, Ricky does get slept. Okay. Sorry, opening my beer. All right, let's see here. We've got Degenerate. We've got Nano Blade coming up. We've got so many alts coming up by the attacking team. It is going to be hard. I'm just a. All right, let's just watch and see how this plays out. We've got here it comes. Here comes the Nano Blade. Oh, a big hook. Oh, but doesn't isn't able to follow through. Oh boy. Here we go. This is this is a huge play by Generate. He finally goes down by Cug Me. But uh, let's be honest here. They're getting this free push all the way. I mean, not all the way. They might be able to get back here in time, but honestly, they're not going to be a full thing because a huge stagger on the Roadhog. It's going to be very impressive to see anything done. Now we are lining up here. Oh boy, here it comes. They're all coming up high. Oh, a big shutdown. Elk coming in hot. They're not able to get to the point quick enough though. Get out of my way or I'll run you and they over. do get they cap the point. Now the defense here, they spent too much time with the Pharah and Mercy up top. They should have dropped down on point, but no one was there to do it. So they have to back out. They've lost some players. Just as what it is, you know. It is what it is. So here we have oh, a lot of pressure on Shinobi Bear right now. He goes way low, but uh, is able to get away for the time being. Now with Jill having that diva, that that defense matrix, there's so much of this going down, but it doesn't matter when you've got a hook and you can just pull him to you. And that's what Kugby does. Now this is giving a lot of free reign now so that Yanosho can go up and get some generate. Getting Jensing on the Ana, putting pressure onto the Pharah Mercy combo in the back line. Really, they just gotta hide. They just gotta duck head, take cover, and hide. This is some great pressure being put on here by Harambe.exe. Able to, you know, engage when they need to, back out when they need to, really hold on to this point right where they've. Oh, this is a big mess up by WTFF, my, B, my BFF chill. Uh, that is a nano boosted Zarya. And here comes. Oh, that is a big. That is a big hammer down. Oh, followed by another big hammer down. Snow Bear getting a huge justice. They're able to push this car forward. They're going to stagger some kills here. We've got some. We've got some tanks in the back line. They're doing. They're disrupting. They are. They're messing up their stuff. Now let's see here, Cuckme Bay, he does eventually go down. The Pharah did have to peel, that leaves only one on the car. That card is moving slow, they got a lot of push there. But they weren't able to stagger more. We had those tanks in the back lane, they were just, they are causing a lot of issues. Now, that was a great grab, we had a lot of people in that grab, but just not much to follow up on. We didn't have the Roadhog up there. I mean, really the only thing you've got, you got Nano Visor, sure. And here it comes. Nano Visor comes. The Diva comes out of the art. Oh boy, this is a huge cleanup by Elk. That is going to be play of the game, folks. You know it. And we've got we've got the pressure built up again. We've got we've got Elk. We've got the whole team. We've got Godspeed up here. We've got Vandalism over there to speed boost them out when they need it. But just putting that ping damage on, getting those all charges. That is how you poke, guys and gals. You gotta do it as a team. You don't do it one on one or one on six. All right, now what we need to look out for is Cuck Me. He's got the high ground. We're gonna watch those hooks. We're gonna probably try to see a little bit of pressure put onto that Farah in the back line. Now the Farah is working her way around, it looks like. Maybe trying to get behind. Oh, big charge. Oh no, Snow Bear. Going down. BFF my Jill, goes down, cuck me brown. 
ends up stopping this point. That was a good fight there at the end, but Degenerate just could not. Score. Zip to two. Couldn't get Switching as many kills sides. as they like. They spread. They're doing such a good job of shutting down that Mercy, that res. It's so crucial. We saw last match how crucial those reses were. Uh, it's it's crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we're working with here, all right? Okay, let's see. Now, we will have KR Board on defense now and Team Harambe.exe on attack. Now, Team Harambe.exe was looking mighty fine for the vast majority of that last round. They're coming out with what looks like a pretty standard attack comp. We've got this uh, kind of hybrid divey comp. You know, you got the Zara who can give the bubble onto either Godspeed playing on Genji or Kakmi Bay on uh, Harambe. <laughs> playing Harambe on Team Harambe, right? And then the back door that the Pharah Mercy combo can do on this first point here in Numbani is, is so crucial. You can get them off the high ground. You can cr absolutely crush that. Now, the defense. Let's see here. Matt's still playing that Mercy. Now, she died quite a bit with a lot of reses. Never able to use it to her full potential. That, that is something that Team Harambe has been able to do extremely well. Is shut down that Mercy combo. The Pharah Mercy combo. They did an extremely good job. But now, we're not seeing a Pharah on defense here. But we are seeing triple tank. We've got uh, Degenerate on the Zarya, Art of Reyes on the Reinhardt, and WTF my BFF Jill on the Roadhog. Now the only full DPS we have here is the Soldier played by Schnobear. But let's be honest, Jill on Roadhog, pretty deadly. And here they come, they're all the whole team pushing the back door. Hook 2.0. Not coming in, but still gets caught on the edge. That D.Va is safer now. Don't know what that is all about. We've got a lot of pressure coming in from uh, the back line. Elk ends up going down. This Mercy play. Cuck me, bro. Trying to find those soft targets, but just getting shut down. Same with Godspeed. Not enough. So tanky. You have such a big dive comp. You've really got to focus those targets. you really got to pinpoint who you want to take out and do it. Now let's see here. Let's see if Godspeed again do a little poke damage, try to build that ultimo. Now he is pretty close at 83%, 85%, 90% already all. Pretty good, but Elk getting taken out again. He is uh, not having a game. <laughs> switching over, they're switching up. They went, no more mercy. Ethan went on to the the Ana. Elk went over on the. And we've got a widow now. We've got we've got a widow in a, a very odd angle. Very interesting angle. Let's be honest. Wow. Big, big hook there by D WTF my BFF Jill. That was a complete shutdown onto Godspeed. Now we've got Mad with Res sitting in the back line, and I feel like Yono Shiro knows that she's there. He keeps checking. There it is. There's the Res flying in. She gets out again. Now not quite picking up all the all the shots that she wants to get here. But doing a mighty fine job no putting some damage down range when it's needed. Oh boy, okay. Team Harambe.exe. Let's see here. Cock me, babe. Jumping in the back line. Doesn't have a lot of targets to work with here. But Godspeed on the Tracer are really able to mess with and then end up bringing out the Mercy. Alright, Godspeed here. Trying to put some pressure on this back line here. Oh, but ends up getting taken out. Elk trying to do some cleanup as well. He's got the grab. Will he use it? Oh, that's a, that's a missed 
shot there. Oh, big, big, big play there by Elk. Getting that Roadhog out of the game. Alright, then there you go. There you have it. Oh, and Matt does get taken out. Bye. Oh, now Degenerate coming in hot with that Zarya play. Able to, uh... Let's take the point. Let's attack the objective. There's no more time to waste. Ooh, no! This is not good for the attacking team. This is not good for Team Harambe. They were able to get on the point. KO board, getting on the point. Taking out only the three players that were left. And able to reinforce. And now we've got to go in. They've got to go in fractured. They're, they've got to go in fractured and against... Aiden Alton. Now... Oh no! Still got the Widowmaker trying to pick up people. Got Godspeed able to stay on the point for a little bit, but not able to do too much. Nope. And that is all she wrote. We've got KR Board taking map two. Boy oh boy. Oh no! Map one. That was map one. Good job, teams. Really good job. Elk, a little upset, we know. Now let's see here what... Play of the match. Generally getting play of the game. This, these Genji plays are just ridiculous. Now how he did not get killed. That was a fantastic hook by the hog, but not able to connect with the follow through. But there you have it, boys and girls. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next game.